In this video, we'll look at an example of solving a quadratic equation with a complex solution. So our problem is 3x squared plus 4x plus 8 equals 0. And we're going to solve it using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And recall that a quadratic equation has the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So in our problem, our a is 3, our b is 4, and our c is 8. So let's plug those numbers into the quadratic formula. So we have b is 4, so we have negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times a is 3, and c is 8, all over 2 times 3, which is 6. Let's continue to simplify. We have 16 minus 8 times 3 times 4, which is 96, all over 6. Simplifying further, we have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 80, all over 6. Continuing to simplify, we have negative 4 plus or minus i times the square root of 80, all over 6. We can simplify this radical. So let's express 80 in terms of its prime factors. Let's make a factor tree here. 2, a prime number goes into 80, 40 times, 2 goes into 40, 20 times, 2 goes into 20, 10 times, 2 goes into 10, 5 times. So 80 equals 2 squared times 2 squared times 5. So let's write this as negative 4 plus or minus i times the square root of 2 squared times 2 squared times 5 all over 6. So, <clears throat> so we can bring this 2 out from the radical and this 2 that would be 2 times 2 is 4 so we would have 4i times the square root of 5. We're left with just 5 under the radical. All over 6. Now let's break this fraction up into two terms. A real part and an imaginary part. So we have negative 4 sixths plus or minus 4 sixths i times the square root of 5. That can be reduced. 4 sixths equals negative 2 thirds plus or minus 2i square root of 5 over 3. And that is our final answer.